Thank you very much for inviting and for giving a place for uh, our work we have done and we are doing. Uh, I'll try to make my presentation hybrid, the pictures in, in Slovak and, and try to explain in English. Uh, uh, problematic of chronic disease is very wide and uh, there are many, many topics, but uh, we have chosen how we are trying to organize and implement a screening of uh, oncological diseases. Why, why population-based screening program? Uh, we all know that uh, cancer uh, diseases in Slovakia are very frequent and in many diagnoses we are on the top of the list of uh, European countries or even among uh, world countries. And uh, so we, we are building on evidence-based uh, knowledge that uh, in, in some uh, cancer diagnosis screening is uh, very effective and also cost-effective that we should reduce not just uh, mortality from some of these cancer diseases, but also uh, incidence of invasive cancer detecting pre-invasive stages. So we have chosen three diagnoses, uh, colorectal cancer, where Slovakia is second or third in Europe and also in, in the world's uh, epidemiology data. Breast cancer, which is the most frequent cancer in the female population, and cervical carcinoma, where we know that uh, in Slovakia we were not able to reduce mortality and incidence during the past 30 years, uh, and that this screening is uh, quite easy and very effective. Why screening? Uh, because we know also from the evidence based data that. Uh, uh, when some cancer diagnoses are diagnosed in early stage, uh, the efficacy of therapy is excellent and many patients should be cured from their cancer. Also, it's, it's uh, much cheaper to diagnose and treat these uh, early stages of cancer. Um, we try to or I want to present how we started our, our effort, how long it was, how difficult, how many people were involved in the process, and that we still are just at the beginning of implementing these uh, <coughs> screening programs. Uh, the debate about screening in the Slovak Republic is uh, long-lasting. It, it started many years ago. Um, even in uh, 2008, there was uh, legislation uh, passed in, in uh, National Council about screening of uh, breast and uh, cervical carcinoma, but uh, nothing was implemented. So two and a half years ago, we start with uh, looking for uh, breast cancer screening, starting to evaluate the mammography in Slovakia. Uh, we have uh, organized the uh, uh, committee for clinical audit, but then we uh, decided that there is no legislation for support this uh, audit, uh, clinical audit, that uh, there is no uh, uh, place for uh, making the, the committee. So we must go back to start to uh, implement the legislation as a first step. Uh, we also created uh, working groups for uh, screening of all these three diagnoses and then working groups for each diagnosis. Uh, Fortunately, we have we had the support of the Minister of Health, and uh, I must say, uh, much better support of uh, 
ministry, Minister uh, Kalavska, who was coming after the Minister Drucker. So uh, this process uh, we started two and a half years ago uh, was, uh, I must say, very, very complicated. I, I didn't uh, assume that the, how should this process be, be difficult and complicated. So uh, you see that uh, we uh, made the, uh, for example, working group for cervical carcinoma, but we were discussing what should be done with the uh, complicated and not defined findings on the uh, cervical cytology how to process in the diagnostic process. And we realized that we did not have the uh, expert, experts for colposcopy who should uh, make this diagnosis uh, uh, in the process uh, to make the diagnosis of cancer or, or just the, the uh, dysplasia. Uh, the first uh, of the screenings we uh, definitely uh, came to the end of the process was uh, a screening of colorectal cancer. And we, uh, there are many, many different types of screening. Uh, they are done in different European countries. Uh, we had uh, already uh, opportunistic screening, which means that uh, those uh, those people who wanted to be uh, to be to go for the uh, prevention or preventive examination they should they, this process was covered by the health insurance companies but it was not organized it was not population based uh, and in this process we realized that we need also to build the structures the structure uh, or the uh, institute where uh, we will be um, making the process, uh, checking the process, uh, making the evaluation of the process. So step by step, we must uh, build the structures, the legislation, uh, find the experts who will be involved in the process. So uh, we decided to make the pilot or, or first phase of screening of colorectal cancer. Uh, we have chosen uh, 20,000 uh, people from three. Uh, we have in Slovakia three insurance companies. One is state-owned, the others, two others are private. So we, there were many meetings organizing this, this uh, first phase of colorectal screening, which we uh, started at January the 1st this year. Um, we realized that we must make the, the way of detecting the process and uh, uh, checking the results of the screening and making the evaluation of the screening. So uh, we need to cooperate with our center of uh, health information. Uh, we created the uh, National Cancer Institute as a regulation and organization body of this screening process. Uh, another uh, obstacle we, we found during our step was uh, new GDPR regulations that we, uh, the process which we had prepared few years ago was not possible to pass in the uh, activity because, because of these new regulations. Um, uh, for the colorectal cancer screening, we uh, chose the uh, three or maybe two different types of examinations. Uh, those who wanted to uh, 
go for colonoscopy, we, we let it as, a, as a one possibility, uh, sigmoidoscopy another, but uh, as a uh, main test, we, we set the occult blood testing, which is easier, cheaper, and uh, safer than the other procedures. Um, uh, year ago, all these three population-based screening programs uh, went through the legislation process, and we uh, set the organization structure. This is the legislation, which is uh, passed through the Ministry of Health. Um, Slovakia was one of the last countries in the Europe which had not a national cancer program. So this was another big issue we, we wanted to implement. And the national cancer program or national oncology program uh, was accepted by the government in uh, December 2018. And the action plans of this national oncological plan were accepted uh, in the government in January 2019. So uh, the Minister of Health, uh, Andrea Kalavska, uh, stated the year 2019, the year of prevention. So this was the, the, the frame the, uh, for starting the, our screening programs. Uh, this is the roadmap we prepared for our screening programs. Um, we know that uh, there are many uh, important aspects which must be taken in account when preparing the screening programs. One of the discussions was of the uh, screening uh, of uh, cervical cancer screening, which methodology, which tests should be used. And we postulated that the screening programs or tests must be easy to perform, cheap, available, and that it must be covered completely by the health insurance companies. So again, we, we should uh, pass these, these uh, steps and we sh must uh, include this in the legislation frame. Um, also, uh, we were analyzing the uh, capacity of, of our healthcare system, and uh, also we were analyzing the, the financial needs for the cancer screening, and we must demand the Ministry of Finance to, to uh, cover this this process financially uh, through the uh, health insurance companies. Also, uh, we started to promote uh, these uh, screening programs uh, through media. Um, we cooperate with uh, uh, patients' organizations and NGOs and also uh, with uh, general practitioners to move this this information through to their their patients. Uh, we know from other countries that this process is is difficult, long lasting, never ending, and that it's very very different in, in, in many regions and that uh, we must be prepared for all these obstacles through the, the process. So uh, we made all these uh, steps for start of the organizing screening, population-based screenings. Uh, focusing on uh, quality of the screening process and also the, the roadmap of, of the screened people 
through the diagnosis and through the therapy if their cancer is, is diagnosed already. Uh, we implemented all the European regulations and also all the recommendations of WHO and um, other uh, in, uh, international organizations. And we tried to learn from all the best examples of screening in European Union. So uh, we still are just at the beginning of the screening. Uh, we started this first phase of screening of colorectal cancer. In January this year, we started the screening uh, of breast cancer in September this year, and we are trying to start the screening of uh, cervical carcinoma mm -hmm. next month, I hope. So we did a lot of the work, as, as, I, as I mentioned already, but we are still in the middle of the process, still trying to uh, promote many, many difficult steps. We are organizing a meeting with uh, all uh, involved organizations and, and people. Um, I must say that the discussion is, is very difficult, but I hope that we should be successful and that we should save many lives of, of our, our patients through these screening programs. Um, I must say that we did not have support of all and that we must uh, make a lot of uh, discussions and try to uh, make the people active and involved in the process. And I hope that also this uh, uh, ground is, is a good place for describing what we have done, what is ahead of us, and that we need the support of all people, all authorities, and maybe also uh, international organization. Thank you very much.